Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today in the DFA NFA complete guide series, we will be discussing about link to DFS. Okay, so we will uh, construct, I mean DFS, which will accept link to strings. Okay, so let's jump into our discussion point. Let's see what we have. So this is our discussion point where our problem statement is construct DFA of link to string. Okay, so we'll be uh, constructing the uh, DFS for which will accept length to strings. So, first thing is that construct a DFA to accept strings of length greater than equal to. Okay, so it means that our string length should be at least two, but after that it can be more than that. Okay, so length can be two, three, four, up to infinite. Okay, but not less than. Okay, so uh, before jumping into uh, constructing of the DFA, let me cl uh, clear it out that our alphabet set is having only two symbols okay a and b okay so it means that our strings our string can be constructed with symbol a or symbol b okay or both of them right but not any other symbol right so now uh, let's look at our smallest string which will be accepted so our smallest string that will be accepted is called a a a b b a b b what is the similarity all are length to string Okay, so all are length two string in this way, uh, length three, four, and um, I mean all other strings with greater lengths will also be accepted. Fine. So let's try to construct the DFM. Okay. First of all, this is our initial state, and initial state won't be the final state because because our string, I mean our DFA won't accept the null string. Okay. Only if our language or if our uh, DFA should accept the null string. In, in that case only we will make the initial state as final state okay otherwise no then in the initial state it can either get a or b okay it means it is getting length one okay so after getting length one it will jump to an another intermediate state this state will signify that our string has seen already length one symbols okay it is seen it has seen already one symbol right so after that it needs another symbol right so again a or b if, if if it is getting again a or b it will go to the final state okay final state means it, it has already seen at least length two string okay but it is stating that it should accept the strings with length greater than equal to two okay that means in the final state also if it is seeing any kind of a or b it will be still be accepted right because we have already followed or we have already fulfilled the basic condition what is the basic condition that our length of the string should be two okay so whenever we are reaching to the final state that is saying that our string length is already two okay in the final state itself if it is again getting a or b in the input state i mean in the in the input if another a or b is coming that means it will be again accepted right it means it is just the length is just increasing okay so we'll we'll do this kind of dfa whenever the length should be greater than equal to some arbitrary number okay some constant now let's look into the next part where the string length should be equal to some specific constant okay so in that case we need to be very specific okay we need to be very specific that these are the strings that will be accepted okay a a a b b b and b a okay only these four strings will be accepted any strings with length less than that or any strings with length greater than that will be rejected okay we need to make sure that so for that uh we won't accept the null state okay we won't, won't, won't accept the length zero string so fine initial state won't be the final state next we are getting a, a single symbol okay either a or b if we are getting that, then we will move to some of the intermediate state. Okay, this intermediate state is again signifying that already length one string is being accepted. Okay, then again we, we need to get another symbol and we will finally reach to the final state. So this final state will say that our, I mean, uh, length of the string is two. Okay, but this is not a DFA. Okay, currently the construction does not show a dfa why because the final state we don't know what will happen if we get a or b again in the final state we don't know right so that is not mentioned here that means it is kind of a nfa okay in the current state it is a nfa okay so what we will do if in the final state if it is getting again a or b 
it will go to the dead state right it will go to the dead state or you can say trapped state why because if it is uh, suddenly reaching to the dead state it it will never get back to the final state that means what that means if the length is greater than 2 that will be rejected okay so only if the string length is equal to equal to 2 the string will be accepted by the string will be rejected if the length is greater if the length is lower okay lower than 2 so now let let's look at the final uh, construction where the string length should be less than equal to 2 okay less than equal to 2 this is also a finite grammar or you, you can say this is also a finite language that means only a finite number of strings will be accepted by this dfa okay so less than equal to 2 means length 0 string will also be accepted that means none then length 1 strings will be accepted okay then length 2 strings will be accepted okay length two strings will be accepted so total these seven strings will be accepted by this dfa okay now you just need to make sure you just need to construct the dfa looking at these strings okay first of all null is being accepted okay it means that our initial state will be a final state okay after that if we are getting only one symbol if we are getting only one symbol then single symbols are also being accepted okay so only a a only a b that is also accepted that means this intermediate state will also be a final state okay after that length 2 okay so for length 2 we need to again draw an another state which will signify that okay we have seen length 2 strings okay now at this position again the pro problem occurs that this is not a dfa right because we don't know what will happen in the final state okay final state if we are getting a or b we don't know what to do okay so this is an nfa so we just need to make sure that we will draw dead state okay that is very important for dfa we will draw a dead state where if we are getting another a or b it will be into the dead state okay that means our length of the string is exceeding 2 okay here in this case if if it is uh, reaching to the dead state that means the length is already been either 3 or more than 3 okay so that means our string will be rejected so this is the condition to be accepted okay now uh, you, you need to look at some specific point where see if the length of the string if the length of the string let me assume that it is w so if it is less than equal to 2 that is a finite language right this is a finite language here in the example 3 this is a finite language right if the length of the string is equal to equal to some specific length that is also finite okay this was our example 2 this was our example 2 this is our example 3 okay so in both the cases you can see if the length is n okay if the length is if the length is n then we need n plus 2 states okay then we need n plus 2 states so here in this question our length is uh, I mean length of the string is 2 hence we had we need 2 plus 2 equal to 4 states okay in the previous question also here you can see that length is equal to equal to 2 that means length is 2 so we need n plus 2 that is equal to 2 plus 2 okay so we need 4 such states sure then finally uh, let's look at this uh, whenever the length is greater than equal to 2 okay whenever the length is greater than equal to 2 that gives us our that gives infinite language okay that gives infinite language so in infinite language means there will be infinite number of strings hence here we need n plus number of states okay we need n plus number of states given that the length is n okay here our length is 2 so we need 3 states right so if you go back here you can see it is greater than equal to 2 hence we need 2 plus 1 equal to 3 states okay so i hope that uh, this discussion is clear to you if you have any point or queries or doubt please put it into the comment section and thank you for joining this for this